At 2.30 a.m. on November 1st, the entire rap world stood still as reports from TMZ was released stating Migos rapper Takeoff sadly passed at the age of 28. Now, it wasn't long until witnesses at the scene started posting on Instagram and Twitter of what they saw at the scene and what truly happened to Takeoff. Many rappers started spreading love for Takeoff on Instagram as it started with Boosie, who had this to say. R.I.P. Takeoff, bro. Uh, shaking my head, man. Humble. That music syndicate won't show QC, all the family. Sending some prayers and love for y'all. I'll take off family, Quavo, I'll set all y'all. That music syndicate won't, you know, send their prayers out. His rap whack, bro. I ain't lying. We targets now, bro. We used to be heroes, you know. Everybody want us out of here, bro. R.I.P. Take off. Now, Boosie is a huge fan of Takeoff. If you are too, leave a like on the video. I'm curious how many Takeoff fans are watching today. We then saw Rich the Kid post this on Instagram. Today, I lost more than a brother. My twin, my best friend, everything. I don't want to believe it, I can't. The most humble person I know, we used to share shoes and clothes before we made it with no problem. I miss you already, you didn't deserve that. I can't stop crying. I love you so much, bro, forever. This then led into Drake posting on Instagram. I got the best memories of all of us seeing the world together and bringing light to every city we touched. That's what I'll focus on for now. Rest easy, spaceman take. Now, it wasn't long until the morning when Master P posted this on Instagram. Man, hip hop is too young. Uh, rest in peace to take all. My condolences goes out to take off family, Quavo, man, all my soldiers and soldier reps. Uh, hip hop has turned to the new streets. We used to be in the streets trying to get into hip hop, which is crazy. Uh, when you walk out your house, tell your loved ones you love them, because you never know who might not come back. And no matter how old or young you are, it's crazy. I love y'all soldiers and salute to everybody. Let's save the next generation. Before getting into more rappers reactions on the situation, you should first know how exactly Takeoff passed away, as after hours of research, I found some interesting things. At 2.30 a.m., Quavo and Takeoff were attending a get-together at a shopping center with Jay Prince in Houston, Texas. Inside of the shopping mall is a bowling alley. This bowling alley is called 810 Billiards in Bowling, Houston. There was up to 50 people at this location that were all invited to this get-together, including the Migos. Now, with this 50 lump sum of people standing in the middle of the mall, four to six of them were taking turns playing each other in games of dice for cash. Report stated that Migos rapper Quavo was one of the individuals playing dice, but I can confirm that is false. Quavo and Takeoff were just watching people play dice. One of the men that was also watching ends up getting into a heated argument with Quavo. Now, this individual that remains nameless at the time of this recording was seen name calling against Quavo, calling him some weird names and even mocking him for how he played during a celebrity basketball game just a few days ago. Now, with Witnesses at the scene claim that Quavo started saying things back to this man, holding his own ground and not letting him push over him, as there's TMZ footage that shows the moments leading up to the incident. Quavo was arguing with this man about basketball. Takeoff is seen being a few feet behind Quavo. Once Quavo was done with this man and had enough of this individual, Quavo was seen walking away and this is where this mystery man swings at Quavo and misses. While he misses, Takeoff is seen walking towards Quavo for backup as he's not going to let someone just go after his brother. With Takeoff stepping up a few feet, this is where firearms were then drawn from two people in the crowd and takeoff was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Now with the sounds of firearms being used in this 50 lump sum of people, everyone starts sprinting away. People are ducking for cover, hopping over benches and chairs, sprinting out of the mall through every exit door. Meanwhile, all of this going down, takeoff is then seen on the floor of the mall and Quavo is by his side the entire time. Sources mention that this is Quavo's fault. Don't listen to any of that nonsense. Eyewitness 
witnesses say takeoff was affected by a stray that he was just standing there and minding his own business it was just the wrong place at the wrong time and with everything going down quavo stood his own ground he stayed beside takeoff the entire time he didn't flinch or attempt to leave him alone he stood beside his guy the entire time now police were seen quickly arriving to the scene they cleared the area and tried everything to help takeoff survive this incident but sadly he couldn't. After hours of research, I was able to piece together one of the people with a firearm. Now, during this incident, it was documented that there was two people using firearms. Now, one has practically now been confirmed to be from Takeoff and Quavo's side. Here's what I found after hours of research. Now, the entire day for Halloween, Takeoff and Quavo were rolling with the driver of their vehicle alongside a man named Migo Bands. On an Instagram story, you'll see Migo Bands sitting in the back seat of Quavo's vehicle. He's also seen throughout all of their Instagram stories throughout the night. Now here's where it gets very strange. An argument starts breaking out between Quavo and another man. They're arguing about how Quavo played during a celebrity basketball game. And with the yelling starting to escalate, getting louder and louder, Migo Bands is seen on surveillance footage from somebody's cell phone, pulling a firearm from out of his waistband kind of holding it near his pocket and walking towards the crowd. Now, once the recording starts, you see Migo Bands standing there with his hat and chain. The camera cuts away, then returns to Migo Bands, where you see him pull that firearm from out of his waistband. A few seconds go by in the video, and then a firearm starts being used. Now, notice here in the screenshots, the backpack and chains that this man is wearing. It connects to what witnesses posted about what they saw, and it also connects from the instant Instagram stories on how Migo Bands was wearing one chain, a Gucci backpack, as well as a snapback hat. Now this also connects to what a witness posted about what they saw on Twitter. A female named Elizabeth was at the scene. She was at the mall with a group of friends that were in this 50 lump sum of people. As she tweeted just hours after the incident and I quote, I'ma speak on this because I feel like I have to. I was right there next to take off. They wasn't arguing about a dice game. Quavo was pressed and then Takeoff was hit by strays as firearms were used for no reason. Rest in peace Takeoff, he didn't deserve that and he was to himself the whole night. Now this tweet also had text messages attached. People are assuming it's her boyfriend that was actually standing and playing dice. As the text messages read, firearms just started ringing, but they were coming from somebody the Migos was with. But he was using his firearm wild and he hit Takeoff on accident. Then the other people started using their firearms back, and I think he got hit again. But ultimately, his own guys did it. Because when he got hit the first time, I just saw him. Quavo was mad over some small stuff. It really wasn't worth it. Takeoff was the coolest and quietest guy in that room the whole time. He didn't say a word, just chilling in the cut. He didn't even know what was going on. He just jumped and got it. Houston for sure about to be a no-fly zone, because the M's are supposed to be protecting these artists. Now, in that text messages, the person claims the first firearm used in that affected takeoff was from his own man. His own man that he was with the entire day of Halloween, as I shared earlier in this video. However, here's where it gets even more concerning. Another bystander at the incident did an exclusive interview with popular YouTuber Storm Monroe. She stated this get-together event at the mall was all set up by Jay Prince Jr. Now, she states to hang out with Jay Prince Jr., his security checks every single person in the room that comes to that event. Not one illegal item, such as a firearm, is allowed to get near Jay. There is, however, one exception. The only ones with fire firearms are people that protect Jay as well as his friends aka the Migos. So having Takeoff's boy Migo Bands have a firearm is very likely as he's most likely not only there to hang out with them all day, he's most likely their security. He's most likely there to protect Takeoff and Quavo. Now I'm very interested to know your guys' thoughts. If you are a Takeoff fan, let me know your favorite song of his down below in the comments. It's been District Trending and I'm out. Peace.